In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the way translation is terminated. I'm going to mention it in prokaryotes and talk about the difference in eukaryotes. So, after we've had a bunch of elongation steps, added a bunch of amino acids to make a really long peptide chain, eventually transcription, uh, or excuse me, translation will have to end. And how will it end? Well, there are once it reaches a stop codon. So this here, UGA, is a stop codon. So once a stop codon is reached, there is no tRNA for stop codons. Instead, what happens is release factors come in and they bind in the A site. So here we have a release factor, an orange one, and then we have a purple one up here, just to make it colorful. And those release factors will come in. One of those release factors has a GTP on it. So when those release factors come in, this GTP is hydrolyzed off into a GDP and an inorganic phosphate and this peptide chain is hydrolyzed off of the tRNA so then what happens is that we free up this peptide chain the peptide chain is now free the tRNA is free and the ribosome is free and the ribosome eventually dissociates That's pretty much it. Translation termination costs the equivalent of one, will cost one GTP, which is the equivalent of one ATP. What's the difference in eukaryotes? The, the real difference simply is that the release factors are eukaryotic release factors. Otherwise, the mechanism is pretty much the same. Hope that video was helpful. One last thing, I'm a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.